everyone. How is everyone going? Excellent. Excellent. Good. That's good. That's energy. Good. 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 <laughs> Perfect. My name is Karen Vega, and I'm going to have the privilege and the pleasure to talk to you about how to set up effective goals and how to use NLP to actually achieve those goals. Mm, how, how good is great? Is Dale? How great is she? Yeah.
to myself in that moment. It was a moment of a, of, of, of a, of a decision. The decision, like, a, like the athletes, you know, the professional sports uh, sportsmen have to make every day. Who here likes sports? Good. Like tennis, uh, footy, cricket. Cricket? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to hold that against you. Cricket thing? Rugby and all those things. I, I, one of the things that I enjoy is actually tennis. I, um, I, and I love the Australian Open. And I'm here, I really like the environment, the, all, the, all, all the things that happen in the Australian Open. And one of the players that I follow is Roger Federer. And everyone knows who he is? Yes. yes. I had, I had the, the great privilege to, to meet him in the, um, meet him the Melbourne airport. It was unbelievable, but those moments when you, I, 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 he just appeared in front of me, but the thing is that I didn't know what to do. It's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> what else can you say? It's like, are, are you gonna ask him something? Or, uh, big fan. <laughs> I was so excited to get to meet Roger Federer. Um, and the thing is that I was reading that, that, that day, I was uh, totally better in mood, and I was reading about him. And he was actually telling in an interview that he was hiring his new coach. And I was, and I was thinking, this is really interesting. Someone like him, who has broken every single world record around tennis, every single, he has won every single title mm -hmm. uh, around tennis, and he still moves mm -hmm. and uses the help of a coach. This is very interesting. Not because he needs someone to teach him the game. He already knows the game. He already knows how to win. But he always is looking for the way to improve himself, to take his game to the next level every single time. And that's the way that, uh, that people like him, real champions, make the dreams come true. Dreams like, dream, dreams like, like they, 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 that you can see that they are reality, that you can really feel it, like, like they are alive, those type of dreams. It's like when, um, when I was when I'm in the movies, and I got so amazed around the, the movies like Toy Story and uh, those animated movies like uh, Shrek. What are the movies that are an animated movies that you like? Cinderella. Did you like Cinderella? And all those things that you see in the movies, like, it's so amazing. How they make that happen? How how yeah, I'm still amazed with those things when I see those those little things moving around and talking. That's so real. And and I don't know if you know like someone like Walt Disney who's like ninety percent of what we have today is thanks to him, that he was fired on of, of one of his first jobs in a in a newspaper, the Kansas City newspaper, and he was fired because the editor in that moment uh, he saw that Walt Disney uh, didn't have good ideas or uh, or good enough ideas. So oh my God, this is very, this is really interesting. Uh, ironically enough, after uh, after uh, after years, uh, Disney bought the company in ABC, and ABC was the owner of the company. And, it, and and the irony was that his creativity was the one who allowed him to buy to build that emp that emporium and to be able to buy all the new things from he, from where he was fired at the beginning. So. When I was reading that, is the message for me was like a, a setback. It can't be a permanent failure if you if, if you decided that it's that it's, it's going to be that way. You can't decide actually what's going to happen to that. And the goal that he put himself into, of course, he had a setback like many people successful people have. Actually, all all of the all of the, we, we we face little setbacks, but it's on us to determine if it's going to be a permanent failure or not. And that's the way that with uh, resilience, with perseverance, resilience, we can actually achieve our dreams. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this moment, is how to set up our goals and how to use all the tools that uh, Bell is, is, is teaching us use, uh, today, and the other thing that she's going to keep teaching us <laughs> for the rest of the day, uh, and how to use all those tools for us able to increase our possibilities because I can say, you know what, this is the magic pill, take that and everything's going to be perfect. No, but it's on how to increase our chances to really get the results that we want. So we are going to talk, uh, and, and, uh, and, and, was, um, and they asked me to come here and I said, look, 
there are a group of people who actually invest a Saturday, and everyone, a lot of people is just hanging around and having uh, drinks and all that, and you actually say, you know what, I want to be here, I want to invest in me, in my time. Of course I want to be in a room with people like that, of course, but, and thank you, thank you for that opportunity. Um, now, the, how, how you can apply NLP? In my years of experience working in different companies uh, and in different projects, I, I saw a pattern. Why these companies are, are able to be successful? Because actually they apply certain types or certain set problems. And it's exactly what I do with my clients, with my personal clients or my, <coughs> or my business clients, or, or my business clients, it's exactly the same thing. And when I found NLP, it was like, oh my God, this, is, this makes sense, and it's how to take those steps and apply it in a personal life in a simple, because when she mentioned, uh, when she mentioned, Kain is an engineer, I said, oh my God, they're not coming back. <laughs> when the engineer did, they're not coming back. But uh, how to, I, I, what I learned is how to take all that and apply it in a simple way, in a day-to-day in, in -day life. All what we are going to learn, we can apply it in all, all the areas. Business, health, relationship. This was an for example, all those things. How could, how could yeah, I, see, I, I realize it wasn't nice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good, good, that's exactly good. Thank you. So, why is it important to have a purpose? How many times do you see so that people go life and they actually, you ask them, okay, you what do you want? This I'm me. not sure, I don't know. Just how can you get somewhere if you are not sure where you want to go? And then, so many people get busy get into busyness, and doing, and doing, and doing, and yeah, I'm very busy, I have to do this, I have to do that. Okay, what, what is the outcome? What do you want? What, 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 what are you looking for? No, actually, uh, it, it could be, uh, yes, it, uh. so now you ask yourself, it's not a, a waste of energy or time and money to actually keep on doing things just because you are used to, because what else can you do? And many people, for example, they plan a holiday. They actually, you know what, we are going to go to this place, we are going to have this, this, this hotel and the kids and that, but they don't plan for their life. That's, that's an incredible pattern. It's like going to a train, a train station, you know that you want to go somewhere. You know that you need to go somewhere because you are in a train station. And then you have all the signs and everything, but if you are not clear, how are you going to start the journey? Or how are you going to know where you are going to end up? Is one of the tools that is really useful for me here is the GPS. Everyone know the, the GPS thing? That for me is an, an amazing tool. It's like my best friend. I don't go anywhere without him because... So the first thing that he asks all the time, and it's a key, I don't know why, but for me it's a key. But uh, all, uh, the thing that he asks me all the time is, okay, I can help you, but you need to let, let me know where you want to go. And that happens with any tool that you, that, that you could learn everywhere. You, can, you could hear learn all the magic tricks around NLP and all that, but if you know for what purpose are you learning, are you learning that? For what purpose, for what is, what is your outcome to learn all those things is pointless. Now, uh, the other day I was reading the, the statistics around, they, they, they did a survey, and they said that they interviewed 1,000 people, and from the, this 1,000 people, this 1,000 people, 93% said that they, they, that they don't plan, they don't set a goal. So only 7% of the population actually do, does, uh, do, do some kind of planning. Okay, interesting. From this 7%, only 3%, actually, only 3% of these people actually do something about it, do something about the goal. And I said, okay, this is, this is getting really interesting. Now, now we know why we only 3% of the population actually have the most wealth, success, health, and all that. And the other 93% just complain about and how the Aussie work for that, we, we, we did around <laughs> the, the bad luck and why the things are not happening and all that. One of the things, here, here, here is a sign of what is happening. Only 3% of the population actually take the time, invest the time to plan their life and actually start doing something. Now, we, of course, it's not, the, it's not the magic pill, and of course, we need, to, we need to do something about it, but here is the difference. We can, we can uh, just uh, settle down and say, you know what, ah, this is too hard, this is easy, this is, or actually, 
be part of the group and start doing something about that. Now, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to talk about the way to the way to set up to set up goals. So the first element, and I said that it, there is a lot of methods, that there, there are ways that you can find uh, time management and project management and all those things. Here is the way that MP teach us how to set up goals that that goals align how our brain works and how it's more effective for us to do it. So the first thing is to state the goal in positive terms. How many people do we see every 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 time saying, yeah, I'm very clear of, of what I want. I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be uh, alone. I don't want to be sick. I'm very clear of what I want. Okay, that's, that's interesting enough. It's exactly like I'm, I, I, if I said to you, don't think, this is me, don't think about the blue car. Don't think about the blue car. Well, actually, you're thinking. It's a blue car, exactly. And it's, it, it, was some, it is something really simple. And actually, I have heard it many times, and still, we end up in the autopilot of, no, I don't want this, I don't want that, because our unconscious mind actually don't process negative. That's why language is a big part of NLP. Uh, language is, we have to be really careful with our words, because we think, ah, that's, what, what's the point to, really, to, to be mindful around our language? Because things like that. I don't want to be broke, broke, broke. So I don't want to fail, 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 fail. So that's why the first thing that we need to do is to actually state the thing that we really want. What is the, what, what is the outcome? What is the thing that do that we do want? Now the second, the second point, and and uh, calling Dale around that is that the goal has to be about us. It has to be something that we have the power uh, of influence. So what's the point to say, you know what? I want my kids to be organized and to be like that. I want my spouse to be like that. I want the world to be in this way. And I want, if, I'm, if, if, it's not, if it's not in my range of power, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna get frustrated. I'm just gonna get, ah, and I'm still putting the responsibility of my life or my outcome in hands of others. That's the, that's the thing. So the goal has to be in terms of what I want for my life, but what actually can I influence around my life, what is, what is in my hands to do, what is in my hands to, to make happen. Now, there are so many goals that people say, you know what, yes, I want to earn more money. Okay, that's positive. Yeah, that's in your, that's in your capacity to earn more money. Okay, but that's too big. How much is, how much is, 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 is more money? How can you say your brain, what, what, what do you need to look for if you are not specific enough so we can have a we can have a clue or, or we can have a, a clue of what we are looking for. So the specific thing is that it has to be <coughs> it has to be a number. <coughs> I I want to be earning X amount of, of dollars a, a year, or I want to have an increase of twenty percent of in my my annual income, or yeah, this amount of money, or in whatever area, in whatever area that you are that you are applying this, you can be specific. So probably some of you are, uh, your main focus in this moment is a relationship. Okay, so how can you be um, specific in a relationship? When you set up a goal and you say, I want to have a nice relationship, or what other words can, be, can we use that to be a specific relationship? Probably we want a relationship, uh, a loving, rela uh, a, love re a relationship where we can have love, respect. What else do we want in a relationship? Just words that you want, yeah. trust, yeah, honesty, honesty, integrity. integrity, what else? How can you put a, a goal or a relationship that is specific? Love. Love? Perfect. Love. What else? Support. Harmony. Harmony. <laughs> so if you're set, thank you very much for that. So when you're putting a, when you're making your goal specific, you actually, you can say, I want a, a, a relationship with love, with harmony, with integrity, with love. So you can be specific even in those things that, that uh, actually are not usually specific. But you need to know what are you looking, what are you looking for. You need to know actually how when you get the goal that you actually got there because you have the, ev the evidence to know that you are already there. Make sense? Everyone in the same page? Sure. Good. That's great. Uh, now, what happened in the in the every thirty first of, of December that everyone is getting so excited, the new year and everything, let's put our resolutions together and this year I'm gonna lose uh, I don't know how many pounds, how many uh, kilos, and all that. Yeah, yeah, great. And next year, 
the next 30, 30 December, we are repeating the same thing. Yeah, this year I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Now, this year is going to be blah, blah, Because we don't put, we don't, we don't actually set a time, a specific time for a goal. So it's one of these days. Yeah, one of these days would be nice if we could, if I could uh, have this, this amount of money. One of these days, blah, 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 blah. But if we don't set up specific time, it's like, yeah, we would like to go to a holiday. If you don't put a day, when actually are you going to start traveling if you don't, if you don't have a specific, specific day, mm. specific day in mind? So that's the next, that, that's the other element. Now, we are going to get even more profound around NLP. And Bell was talking about this, that we are going to put our, uh, our goal as if already happened. This for me was one of the, 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 the new elements in all these things around goals. Is that you, you could usually put a goal like, ah, oh, yeah, in three months I would like to have to this uh, to happen, or in, in three months I'm going to. And when you think what, what your brain is getting you is, I'm going to, I will, and everything is like in the future, in then in another, in another moment. So here is when you put, actually, uh, NLP in practice, and you are going. And the way that, that NLP that NLP starts with the thing is, I'm going to start with the goal that is, as if already happened. So it's the let's say it's, it's the 33rd of December 2011, and uh, actually, actually you are going to put what happened or what you are celebrating this in this day. So it's the 31st of December 2011, and I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating that in this year I have earned this at least uh, X amount of dollars. Uh, I'm celebrating that in the, uh, this year my relationship has been blah, 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 blah. Why is that so important? I, I, would, like, I would love for you to do this exercise. If you can check yourself a little bit, just, just a little bit. Can you check yourself? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. Now, if you can close your eyes, and I'm, don't worry, I'm going to make sure that no one's going to feel the curve or something like that. <laughs> close your eyes for a moment. Just close your eyes. And I want you to think in something that happened in the past. An event. It could be like your breakfast yesterday. Just an event that happened in the past. And I want you to feel how you feel about the possibility of that event happening. Are you certain that that event actually happened? Now you can open your eyes and how did you feel about that event happening? Certain, isn't it? Actually it happened, so it's certain, you have certain. You are totally, totally confident, totally certain that event happened. Where is that event? Perfect timing. <laughs> Here next to Robert, and he could put you. Yeah, but I bite. Ah, yeah. Just because of this, sometimes bad, but try to do this. So, uh, what is your name, sir? Alexander. Alexander. <laughs> okay, so coming back to that feeling of certainty, where that event is, is actually now where you can actually find that event. It's only in your mind, isn't it? It's in your mind. There is no matter, there is not like a big storage room where you can actually go and have the event. It's happening here. So the feeling of certainty is actually here as well. So now if you feel if you if you go and think about an event in the future, and you can focus on an, an event, a specific event that you want to happen in the future. Do you have the same certainty around that event? Do you have the same feeling around that event? That's interesting. And where is that event? Actually, in the same place, in your mind. Mm -hmm. So why we cannot have the same, uh, the same type of feeling? 
why we don't we can have the same type of certainty if if everything is happening actually in our mind. So at the end is the way that we storage information and the way and actually the point is how we feel around what we have in our mind. Now that's why in NLP you establish your goals saying that it's something that already happened. Because that helps you, that helps you to actually start getting the feeling and creating and, and saying to your mind saying to your mind what actually uh, we need to look for to make that event happen. Well done. Okay. Sorry, sorry. All good, all good. Now um, having that in mind, I would love for you to do an exercise in this moment. We will need to check again or we are just okay with this. All good? Perfect. So I would like you to have a, just a deep breath. To relax. <laughs> Great Saturday, <laughs> nice company, nice day. Uh, and I would like you to, if, if you could, in your mind, like, like uh, how to say that, draw a line and to start with a clear cut. And think about something that is going to be meaningful for you, something that, that is going to be relevant for you. In any area of your life that you want, something that is important, that is going to be important. And we're gonna have five minutes to do exactly what we did here. We are, you're gonna start with the goal. Is it, it is the put the date that you want when, when you want to, to experience the goal. You can say it's the 31st of December or before, and I'm celebrating that this, this, this has happened. And as we know already, staying in the being the positive, what is what you do want, it has to be in your power of influence, it has to be specific has to have a time as we put it, and we are gonna put it in that format as, as, as it is. So we're gonna have five minutes for you to write that, write that down. You can be as specific as you are. 
something that is relevant for you that's gonna mean something important for you. Acknowledgement of the people that you love, that you are cherished, your accomplishments. I want you to hear yourself. What are you saying to yourself? Ah, good one, yeah. Well done. I knew you. I knew you could make it. What else are you hearing in that moment? to share what you, how do you feel about that? Because that's the clue to the, to the last uh, fifth point around how to set up a goal. The thing that you just experienced. How did you feel? important on our NLP that we can involve all 
our senses into a specific outcome. So you need to put your goals in terms of what are you going to see when that will happen? What are you going to hear in that moment? How are you going to feel? What are you going to say to yourself? And you're using, using every single of the symbolicities that you're going to have. And actually, that makes the goal real. And as we talked uh, before, what is actually reality? It just conditions ourselves to get to where we want to go. And also the past and the future is in our mind. But we are the ones who can condition ourselves to get ready and prepared to make these things happen. Make sense? Good. Now, the second point, so we, this is part of the first step of the principle of success of NLP. So the first point was start with the end in mind. That is just what we have done, is to be clear around where we want to arrive, what is the outcome that we are looking for. Now, the second point is critical and is take action. There is not a substitute for that. There is nothing that is going to happen just by thinking positive. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I'm going to attract it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, can, I can feel it. Yeah. And spend every single day, every, every single moment just wishing, hoping, wanting that something is going to happen. But let me, let me tell you that you need to do something actually about that. One thing is to set up ourselves for success, and the next part is making it happen. So it's like those beautiful, you can hire a, 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 the best architect, and he can uh, make you a beautiful blueprint of the house of your dreams. And you have it here, and you say, yes, now I'm going to think positive. Yes, I have it here. Yes, I have my house. But if you, actually, if you don't actually start doing something about that, they're putting the, buying the place, buying the land, or putting the, 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 the basis of the thing, and all those things that you need to, make, to, to have to build a house, it's going to be on paper. Nothing is going to change unless you start actually uh, making it happen. So what I, would, what I would love for you to do in this moment is to write down the first step, it doesn't have to be, let's say that I want to climb Mount, Mount, Ever, Mount Everest. I don't, I'm not going to put just uh, all, the, all the journey that I have to run. Just which is the, the, the first bit that you need to do to make the goal that you write down down happen. The first action, it could be something simple, but it's some, it, it has to be something doable. Let's say something that you can do today, tomorrow, not later than next week. Just the, the next the next step. Write that down. Don't overthink it. Don't start ah, but, but what would happen if? Or, don't overthink it. Just write the first uh, the first action that you are going to that you are going to do. First step. Now turn turn to your partner and say, you know what, I'm doing this. You don't have to check what are you doing, but just to say, you know what, I'm doing this. Come on, just talk to your partner and say, I'm doing this. Is that 
we could start a, a journey. Let's say that we are, our goal is to go to Sydney driving. How many hours there are from here to Sydney if, if you are driving? How many hours? Nine. 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 How many kilometers are from here to Sydney? Eight hundred and ninety. Eight hundred and ninety? From from Canberra. Okay. <laughs> you have gone there. Nine hundred and ninety-seven. Sorry? Nine hundred and ninety-seven. Let's say let let's say let's say thousand. What is about feedback? That if we start our journey and we go like this. Yeah, I'm going for my goal, I'm going to start taking action, and yes, I'm taking action, I'm taking action, and then you start just in the business, yes, I'm taking action, because someone said that I have to take action, and that's it, I'm going that like that. And I don't actually use my senses, I don't actually use the environment to see if I'm in the right track or not. It's like going to see me like that, without seeing the sign. What happens if the sign says, uh, say, a thousand kilometers, what happens if the sign says, uh, Sydney, 800 kilometers, and the next sign says, Sydney, uh, 900, 1,200 kilometers. You did something wrong. <laughs> something happened there. You made a, a wrong turn or something happened there. But what if you, don't, you are not seeing the sign? You can keep going and say, you know what, I'm being positive. I put my goal as, as, they, did, as, as they said. I see I'm taking action. But if you are not seeing, you are not hearing, you are not experiencing, you are not taking the feedback, how do you know that you are in the right track? And that applies to every single that we are having. Let's say that um, you, we, have to, we have to every time to check, I, I, I'm getting the results that I want. These results that I'm getting, actually, I, 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 I'm getting me closer to my goal or not? That's the question that we have to ask. It, 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 could, it could happen in relationships as well. Let's say that I want to uh, get married with, some, with someone. Let's say, but ah, you know what? Women love flowers. I'm gonna start, uh, I have my goal, I'm gonna start taking action, I'm gonna bring this beautiful girl flowers every single day. And you are just, that ah, has flowers, that ah, has flowers, that. And you are not seeing that the girl probably hates flowers. <laughs> what are you doing, man? You're just, <laughs> if you are not seeing the result that you are getting, you are gonna keep doing the same thing in the same track. So that's the point around, around feedback. And again, it's just, it's not about positive thinking. And, ah, this, everything is like, it's having, to read the signs as well. The other thing is that so many times we, we establish a goal, but because the goal is big, or because the goal, the goal is gonna take time, that after the first week, you know what? I'm gonna lose 10 kilos, and this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. And the first week, you know what? I haven't, I haven't lost any, any, any weight. Ah, that's it, this thing doesn't work, that's it, I'm not good enough, I can't make it. Yeah, you, could, you have to have feedback, having the proper, time frame as well. So, uh, for example, in, in, uh, in, in business and also in, in many personal projects, a good frame of time is 90 days. You can evaluate, you can know if something is working, if something has future or not, in a period of 90 days. It's not that too long to invest and waste a lot, and it's not too short to actually give you an opportunity to actually work. Now, the fourth step is very related with the feedback. Is now okay. I'm getting the I'm getting the feedback that probably I'm not on track. I'm not getting the results that I want. So what actually I need to do is that NLP says brilliantly that we have to have behavioral flexibility. How many people do we see that they say, you know what? This I am this. So that's it. I am, uh, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too black, I'm too, so whatever it is, I am. And they define themselves in a way that is permanent. So if I'm not getting the result, it doesn't matter. I'm doing what it is, I'm, I'm setting the goal, blah, 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 but I am this, and that's it. If you're not getting the result, you have to, you have to be able to have the flexibility to adapt yourself, to adjust yourself, and start saying, okay, what I need to change about me that is going to help me So it's different that you say, you know what? I'm gonna stay and hoping and wishing, and again, I'm gonna focus. Yes, it's possible. Yes, okay. You are not getting the feedback. In the feedback that you are getting, you actually you are you are not getting closer to your goal. What what is there that needs to change? What is the next quality that you need to add to your life? What is the tweakles that you need to put in place to start getting the results? Now, um, Einstein 
has two, two beautiful and powerful quotes that he says, a problem cannot be solved in the same level that it was created. Not in the same level. If we are putting, if we are setting up a goal that is going to be challenging, as, as, it, as it has to be, like it's going to stretch us, if we are not getting the goal, for example, if it's a goal around money and we don't have that money yet, it's because we are not yet in that place. So we need to stretch ourselves and grow to be able to get the goal. So we cannot create a problem, and actually we cannot reach a goal in the same level that we are functioning now. But we are going to need to move things around and have the flexibility to be able to say, you know what? Probably I'm, I, I'm going to need to be more like this, X, Y, yeah, Z, whatever it is, and have the flexibility to be able to, to start doing those two things. And the other, the other quote that Einstein has is that insanity, and the definition of insanity is doing the same thing with expecting different results. Mm -hmm. And that's what many people, many people do. Ah, I'm not getting the results. Are you doing exactly the same thing? Yeah, but I, I established my goal. That's the definition of insanity. That's why flexibility is so important. If we want to have different results, we have to do something different. Now, the fifth point around the, the LP principle of success is to use the physiology, and I'm not sure how to write that, and, so, and operate from physiology and psychology of excellence. What is this about? We, as, as humans, we, we don't process and we don't live our life like mind in a way and body in a different way. Ma the, our mind affects our, our, our bodies and our bodies affect our mind. So it's very interesting when people say, you know what, I cannot reach my goal because ah, I'm not feeling well. My, my, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit uh, blue, a little bit uh, low, a little bit. Uh, so th that's why I cannot get what I want. So it's very interesting how can actually you use your body to help you go there. So let's do an exercise, a little bit of exercise. Let's play for just for a moment and let's do sadness. What do you need to do with your body to do sadness? sadness. You actually. And, and, and that, that has many scientific explanations. You actually put your shoulders uh, like this, and actually start looking down, and start uh, your breathing, different type of breathing. The energy of your body starts functioning in a different way. So you don't get enough oxygen in your brain. You actually are not getting enough, uh, enough air to be able to, to produce a different feeling. So actually, we, we are not conscious that we are creating our state every single time. So we can do sadness. And if we look down, we actually, we are reaching just memories. We are just reaching with our, with our eyes, eyes smiling, different types of states. You know what? Yeah, I start from the sadness. And if we approach life in that way, if we approach our goal in that way, that's the result that we're going to get. Now, let's say that we could do actually feel, we could actually do happiness. If you let's let's everyone keep it straight. Do we need to check a little bit or not? Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you really, put your put your shoulders back, take a deep breath. And let's go into what the Dale uh, taught us. Go into expand with awareness, just uh, pick a, a specific point above your eye line and just there and smile. Just smile. It's not gonna hurt you, just smile little bit and start thinking and then we are going to mix with the psychology that is the thoughts that you choose to have so start thinking something really positive probably just uh, remind yourself something that you are conscious it doesn't have to be big or it can be something small uh, a, a very nice cup of coffee that you were able to make whatever it is something really nice and keep looking up and keep, keep smiling that's a way that you can use your psychology the psychology of that's the way that athletes actually uh, actually use their body to to prove the results as well. Exactly like that. And after lunch, we are gonna go on into lunch. Not yet, in a little bit. We are going to lunch, and Dale is gonna uh, give us a beautiful gift around this and how to how how we can manage our space. And uh, if that's okay, uh, if that's okay with you, I would like to tell you in a little bit about a tool 
that you could use um, to, to get better results as well if that's the case. Now, when, when, um, when we were talking about the psychology and the physiology, now we can see the, the relationship exactly like that. So now we can be more conscious about how we can manage our state, and how we can use this to help heal, and here, how can we use our mind to help our feeling and our physical feeling? Anyone have any questions, any comments so far? All good? Yeah. Beautiful. What have been the, highlight, the highlights of this, this, uh, this, this session? It so like like beautifully in this jail. Um, mm. It's, again, what you, what you think about you are yeah. mm. and what you put out when you get that. So if you can get all that good stuff happening yeah. and you can visualize that happening, you can be there. Yeah. And then there's yeah. the action. Because it's mind, it's mind and body are one. And yeah. That's the distinction I'm getting here. That there's nothing, there's nothing separate. But once it's convinced in mind, the rest is fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. But once it's here and embedded, yeah. it's like wow, it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. And Beautiful. It's, it's heading up for yeah. the first. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. High distinction. Thank, Thank you. you. Someone else? Any other comments, highlights, sharings? Not really? All good? Yeah. All good. Beautiful. Now I would like to think in three moments from now, let's say next week, you actually have done the action that you committed with yourself and with your partner <laughs> to have done. And just think about that, how, how that is going to take you even further. Uh, let's say in three months' time when you actually start remembering all that you have learned today and start saying, you know what, I'm applying all these things and look at the results and I say, oh, all those things because, because I'm just playing big for myself, I'm saying yes to myself. I'm being healthy. And let's say that the next 31st of December, you actually know that it's not about resolutions and wishing and, and, and just hoping, and it's about, it's, it's about putting steps in place. And when you are actually seeing those results and, and actually feeling all that magic that you can create, it was like when I was reading about this uh, about Walt Disney, and I was reading an interview that someone was, that was doing to his, one of his sons, and he said, oh my God, he's so ashamed that Walt Disney didn't live enough, long enough to see Disneyland, one of his biggest projects. He, he died before Disneyland was built. And said, why are you saying that it's a shame? Actually, he saw it before any one of us. Mm -hmm. That's why you know, Disneyland is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my God, this is, this, this is the point when you actually start playing big, like every single athlete that wake up every single day, those like the Roger Federer, tennis players, that they work up every single day to practice and work hard. They are not doing that just because they want, they, they hope and they wish that the next ball is going to be the easy, ah, easy, easy, one, easy, one, easy, one, easy, one, easy one. They just do that because they want to make sure that they are so good that they can kick back every single ball that comes into the, into the way. And finding the way, it was when I went out the, the bus in New York. Oh my God. I'm here by myself. It doesn't matter. Many people say, don't go down to New York. You don't know the place. It's dangerous. It's so violent. You are going to end up in the Bronx or in Queens or blah, blah, blah. You are going to end up there. But I said, you know what? When, I, when, the, when that, that door opened, I said, oh my God, I'm here. So I went to Central Park. I went to the Statue of Liberty. I went to Times Square. It was amazing. The feeling was amazing. And when I, when I now see the pictures, Remember all that? I see pictures before. I have the typical picture that everyone has about New York. And I saw those pictures. And I remember that it's not about, it, it, it was never about New York. It wasn't about the Statue of Liberty. It was about, as Wayne Dyer said, Wayne Dyer was, was, asking about, was asked about the law of attraction. That how you can actually 
manifest the things that you want. And he said, you don't attract, you don't manifest the things that you want. You actually create the things that you are. So for me, it's not about the, the, having the picture of being in New York. It was about to become the person that I became in that moment to be able to be living a dream in that space of time. And I would like you to talk about the, the thing that I was telling you before, is one of the tools that you can actually use is this book that Bell was showing you. In this book, you can find very simple tools around how to apply all these things. We have actually one. just yeah. one copy. Yes, yes, it's wrong. Beautiful. We have a beautiful copy. It's from America. Yeah. From, from, it's this, a special gold of this special Of this special edition. <laughs> but the good thing is that because we are running these this events, uh, we, are, we are getting a, a more books from American special edition. If you want, you can uh, put your name down and pay for that. We are going to post it to you. We only have one in this moment that you can actually buy it at the back of the room. My name is Karen Berger. Thank you very much for your attention and see you at the back of the room.